Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use Kinkone A Series board work with GSM module so that you can send a short message or make a voice call. And in this video I will based on Kinkone A2 board because it supports the 4G module. Uh, you can see that it supports SIM 7600 module. So Kinkone many ESP32 board support this module. So this video just take example so you can use this way uh, for Kinkone other different modules of PCB board. Okay, let's look at the first. You need to download the KCS firmware to the ESP32 module. So at here, you can download in our form the KCS system, KCS firmware bin file. You just choose your corresponding module. I have used A2, so I downloaded this one. And you can use this ESP32 download tool too. Upload, upload to the ESP32. So this is very easy. You just uh, do as these steps. Uh, just if you complete, okay, we can install the SIM card and the JSM module. Let's look at how it works. And uh, you can see uh, this is our A2 board. Uh, this is a JSM module. So this is SIM 7600. So you just connect with it. Because I have made a video, actually you need to install the screw. And this is the power supply, a 12 volt. And this is the antenna, a GSM antenna. And just connect by this hole, LTE. This LTE IPX socket. And this is used for GPS, I'm not used. And you will prepare a SIM card, just it's a small SIM card. Uh, this I have removed from my mobile phone. And you need to use this adapt because it's very small. So you need to use this adapt let your card become large. So this will become large. And then you can install it here. Just it here. And put it here. Put it here, make a good contact and close it and just close it. Okay, this is complete. And now we'll power on and connect with the Ethernet cable because we need to configure it. I prefer Ethernet cable, but you can also use the Wi Fi. Connect with it, and now you can see. I can connect with the power supply and you will see the, this LED is on ok and wait for a moment because we will reduce the forge module and when this green is blink and you can try to call this number now I will use the mobile phone to call this board SIM card number And press. Okay, uh, this is successfully. Just this number. This number is this SIM card number, and make sure it work well. Okay, the next step we will look at the computer. Now let's look at my computer, and we need to scan the IP address. Use this tool because I have used the Wi-Fi for my computer. So I start and scan, and you will find this is IP address of A2 part, so we can log it. Okay, when I'm logging, just use default admin, admin, the username and the password. We can click this network, and we want to enable this GSM, so you can just Click this enable. So this administrator number you can input totally six. At least you can input one of your mobile phone. This is management the mobile phone number. So you can input at here. I input my mobile phone number at here, and you can press save. Make sure just after you enable, you want to make the test function. You must need to press this save for reboot firstly. So you can see, 
uh, this is reboot, wait for some seconds. Okay, this is reboot. And now you can see, I can click this one from test. Okay, uh, this you can select uh, which phone number you will send the short message or make the call. So if I click send a message for just for test, okay, you can see successful. And now you can see in my mobile phone, you will see uh, this message. This is a test message from case 86A2. This is sent by our A2 board. So this board have sent a test uh, message to this mobile phone. So now you can click this, this make a call. You can click on this one and you can see the successfully. So this is step that showed how to test the forge module uh, by this KCS firmware. So that in next step, you can make an FTT command. Uh, for example, you can see it here. You can create if the digital input is triggered so that you can send a message. So you can see, uh, for example, we can use this one. This is GPIO1, GPIO2, and the digital one and digital two. We can shut this digital one to this ground so that we can send a message, short message. So you can create the short message firstly. You can see click the network and short message notification because this is send out. So the notification we can create a number one. DI1 is triangle. But this is one. We can create many short message by yourself. We can click save and click OK. And now you can see I can click FTDT and create the first FTD command. We can edit. And the name we can DI1 SMS, just a digital one short message you send out. We can press this one. If the digital one input is true, apply. And then the command we just, you can see, choose this short message. And the short message one, and the number is one because I already have set the one administrative number. So you can apply and press enable and press save and click. That will be reboot. Okay, you can see we can refresh. Uh, this first FTD command have created. This is manually you can run this command. You can see I can click this one run so that you will see the short message you received. And you will see uh, we have received this short message. Uh, this is a short message is received. This is manually running this FTD command. So I can put it here. Now I will shut the ground to this digital input one. So you can see in my board, I can shut this digital input one and to this ground, just at here. You can see uh, this should GI1 is triggered by this short message. So this is the work. So you can see, I can shut again. Okay, you can see this DI1 is triggered. So this have used the FTD command, have set the short message link with the digital input. You can also link the different uh, part uh, for different command by yourself. Okay, this is how to work with the short message from the A2 board. Thanks for watching.